right here, a very short video update on the formal arrest and criminal charges presented and charged officially against the YouTuber slash sovereign citizen known as Chile De Castro. Jose Chile De Castro was arrested. And in this video, you're going to see some very important updates on that. Just kind of a short, uh, fun little moment before we move on into the very important cases. Thank you again. That's up next on JTC. I like it. You folks need to be getting this uh, uh, to the general public so a lot more news starts reporting on this very uh, interesting arrest and development. State of Nevada versus Chile de Castro. Case number 23-PC-013015. March... Um, 15th, 2023. So on March 15th of 2023, Jose Maria, also known as Chile de Castro, was charged with obstructing a public official or police officer and resisting the public officer when, while broadcasting live on the Delete Laws YouTube channel, he recorded himself interfering with the Las Vegas Metro Police Department traffic stops and assumed duties. His information briefly appeared on the Clark County Inmate Lookup website and then was not mentioned. Due to the short amount of time, the information was available and a follow-up video posted by Mr. DeCastro hours later. He was booked and released within approximately five hours and has a hearing scheduled for March 17th of 2023 and an ongoing case that is still pending. Okay, so this is a... Uh, key issue that people have been talking about on YouTube, but really haven't been discussing that much. So I want you guys to get this out there. All right, get this out there far and wide. Chile de Castro was officially arrested. The uh, sovereign citizen slash activist, uh, Jose Maria Chile de Castro was arrested on March 15th, 2023, and booked into the Las Vegas uh, jail system. So thank you again. Be certain to uh, like, you know, subscribe for updates. This is just a short, very important news brief item on this um, important arrest of a public figure. Chile de Castro has a very large uh, presence on the internet, and um, he's done a lot of controversial things with sovereign citizen type of issues and with um, allegations of fraud and other uh, similar issues. Huh. Finally, he's getting uh, more of what uh, was most certainly deserved. So I appreciate you guys um, continuing to spread the word. And as always, stay tuned for more right here on the JTC channel to uh, you know, spread the word on this. Spread it everywhere. This is pretty interesting. Pretty funny. You know what? Did you stop over? Stop over? Cool. You're shaking hands. It's done? Cool. Great. Hey, can I get a shot of them wrists real quick just to show how they treat people? Can I see your wrist? God, God bless you guys. There it is. There so, he is. Yesterday, the Las Vegas Police Department... Sorry about that. Let me wipe this off. So yesterday, the Las Vegas Police Department told me that they were going to arrest me and have me do a walkthrough so that it would change my behavior. Does my behavior look changed? I got to go. I'll see you guys on the live. I will be live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll tell you guys everything that happened yesterday. It's unbelievable what happened to me yesterday. You're not going to even, until I get all the body cam footage, you won't believe what I'm going to tell you. Oh, I'm sure we all believe. 
We certainly believe it now. A very, very interesting story. I can't help but chuckle at this in a way. An angry Jose Chile de Castro, who has a major presence on the internet, allegedly more than 40,000 subscribers, and so on, trotted out their greatest hits in two Thursday night live streams while making his first extended comment on the arrest. In the first live stream since his arrest, Mr. Chile de Castro is seen patiently waiting for the police to finish a alleged traffic stop in which they had two men handcuffed on the side of the road. As the police are leaving, de Castro timidly approaches the men and asks both of them to comment on the stop and inquire about the injuries he stated that they sustained due to being placed in handcuffs. Well, yeah, I mean, you can imagine. That would be the first thing that de Castro would be uh, concerned about after having a major fundraiser where he earned, I don't know what, what it was, but well over a thousand dollars apparently for something related to, oh yeah, that was also related to uh, the arrests of a couple of other sovereign citizen friends of his. Apparently over in the Tennessee area, closer to Tennessee and Kentucky, where a uh, good citizen allegedly lives. And this other guy, uh, Mr. Uh, Jerry Payne, is what they're saying through the grapevine right now. So of course he would suddenly be very, very concerned about absolutely everyone having problems with handcuffs because he just was in a set of very real handcuffs for a long uh, a long time which is very interesting to see that the men initially d denied injuries from the traffic stop and stated that the police were only doing their jobs as they went through an intersection on a yellow light once it changed to red this triggered Chile de Castro instantly who seemed a lot more relaxed as the police left the scene and made both men display their wrists out front by holding their wrists out front to show if there was any bruising so he could send them back to his official YouTube channel, allegedly. The second live stream featured <clears throat> an agitated um, Chile de Castro giving his reaction to the events from the past day. He described his his most personal feelings in a manner some may describe as uh, post-traumatic stress as he was angry and upset about the arrest and was un unable to process his inability to control the situation with police. Oh yeah, he was unable to control a lot more than that, most certainly. It'll be interesting to uh, hear some of the updates come out finally. He replayed the arrest footage and brought out a threat to sue the Las Vegas Metro Police Department for federal civil rights uh, lawsuit charges. He's alleging violate his right as a journalist to record in public the police. He said it is based on Nevada's revised statute 171-1233. Um, the problem with stuff like what uh, Chile de Castro always quotes is it's pretty much... Um, almost nonsensical because Chile is a, you know, he's a, he's a sovereign citizen. So given that he's still a citizen, a legal citizen anyway, of the United States in the legal sense, you know, spouting off all these statutes and so on is not really going to get him very far. That's all I'm going to comment on that. Because unless you are not a citizen at all and you have legal proof to show that you're not a citizen you cannot just pull out any statute or even state law because that's what they are are uh, state laws from the website and just automatically presume it's going to apply to you because in most cases it does not okay it's an interesting fact you end up learning however if you aren't a citizen at all you have nothing that shows that in most cases, it does apply to you in some respect. And you can get through certain issues and things that occur out there much, much quicker without having to go through all of this intensive uh, care and, and pretty much all the legal 
um, ring around the rosy that Chile de Castro is going to have to do now. But of course, he doesn't care because he's sovereign, right? Yeah, he's a sovereign citizen. Like a lot of these knuckleheads are they're saying they're sovereign citizens. <laughs> Which is going to be one of the big revolving jokes as this really goes forward. I can tell you that. This subsection must not be construed to authorize a person, quote unquote, to engage in actions that interfere with it or obstruct the law enforcement activities and violate other laws in the effort to record law enforcement. A peace officer shall not act to interfere with the person's recording. So he's spouting all this stuff, not knowing that it's not really going to help him, really at all. And ultimately, it's not going to help him that much in court. But he's still spouting all of it anyway, because he's a He's a citizen. He's a sovereign citizen. According to the rules and the laws that, you know, sovereign citizens live under, anyway, or according to Chile and Castro, he's just a citizen who's sovereign, so he's, you know, he's above the law, apparently. So De Castro was actually arrested for violating Nevada State Statute 197.190 and 199.280, making false statements, as well as obstruction when resisting a public peace officer. Castro essentially asserted that as a journalist, <laughs> this is what's funny, actually, gives you a little bit of a chuckle sometimes to see this. He asserted as a journalist, the police cannot stop his recording in any case, and that by shutting off his cell phone, he violated section one of the statute, which allows a reporter to maintain control of his recording devices. He ignores the fact that he was standing in the middle of the crime scene when he was filming and was asked to move by the police officers several times. He was never asked to stop recording anything. When he refused to obey the officer's commands and place both the subject of the traffic stop and the officer in jeopardy with his erratic behavior, the rest of it followed. De Castro admitted to engaging physically with the officer and bragged to all of his viewers as well that he could have justifiably killed the officer at the scene in defense of himself. He went back to his statement multiple times during the broadcast, De Castro claims, saying he had dreams about violently assaulting the officer but would not act with violence until someone started a revolution. Well, that's going to work out really great for uh, Mr. Chile De Castro, really, when we think about it, and his other, quote, citizens who are not sovereign at all, but, you know, they just call themselves sovereign citizens. So that's going to that's gonna really work out wonderfully to, uh, to hear that. That revolution which he would lead, or he would not lead, I'm sorry, but he would openly participate, is what De Castro was uh, all a flush about that night. He showed light bruising on his elbow and bicep and claimed the second officer tortured him at the scene after De Castro refused to turn and face the police. He claimed that the officer dug fingernails into his arm for half an hour, which resulted in bruising and swelling. He pledged that he would have the second officer fired and would take the officer's pensions and savings account as part of a future suit. Good luck with that, Mr. DeCastro. <laughs> because he doesn't even know that legally he's known as a citizen. And a sovereign citizen, or a citizen of any type, really, but especially in specific, a sovereign citizen, uh, doesn't actually have the right to do any of that. They can't even file a real suit, at least one that's going to end up being finally heard and start getting a lot more things swinging, so to speak. But um, I, I say let Phyllis, I mean, Philly, Philly de Castro, I mean, I say just let Chile de Castro run his mouth because I think it's going to end up with him getting locked up possibly for a little bit longer um, in the end anyway, since he doesn't know that he's still actually legally a registered citizen, which is interesting. He challenged the officer who arrested him to a cage match at the UFC ring in Las Vegas. Officer Chad Gui of the Ironton Police Department was challenged as well. He claimed he needed 12 people, uh, De Castro says, to beta test the soon-to-be-launched endtorturecuffs.com. His transparency app was coming right away. His revisited trifold would be released any day now because Chile de Castro is so on top of all of this, he's going to film the fight. And he 
he's doing it because of his misinterpretation of Rod Rodriguez versus the United States in the Supreme Court. The case called Rodriguez versus U.S. Very interesting to see that, by the way. That case is a very interesting case. Um, I'll say this. Chile de Castro is probably not even going to go into the, the ring uh, or even go to the fight because he knows just about as much about the law as someone knows um, what flavor of popcorn they're going to buy on a Saturday night. <laughs> and that's actually no joke, really. So I have to get a little bit of a chuckle at that. Since he's legally a citizen of the United States and a huge amount of people have confirmed and found that out now because he doesn't have anything that shows that he isn't. So De Castro drew his largest audience to date for the live stream to talk about the brawl that he's going to uh, have happen soon. 1,800 people were in his live chat and he apparently collected over $1,000 in preparation for war. I mean, this is just amazing. Um, so anyway, sound off in the comments, though. What are, what are your own personal views um, and thoughts and insights in relationship to the Chile de Castro situation overall? We always appreciate, you know, your real, genuine feedback, what you're feeling about it, or what you, uh, what you have to say about this kind of issue, this serious issue also at this time. Chile de Castro, boy. Never change. That story is also found on Yahoo News now as well, apparently. Okay, what's going on, everybody? Before I wanted to... I have a premiere coming out here on the channel, I think in about 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Children's toys and the, the children's... She's a very happy little girl, according to Indiana Auditor. And so we need to, hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Everybody do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the like button, take your finger like this and just hit the like button, just, just for all the pay app money and I added my donation and then I withheld the super chat money because we found out within that same little time frame that there was a chance they could be extradited to Kentucky. Oh, Chile. That's quite interesting. The very, very important piece of the story. However, you're going to be unable to do any of that, particularly now. As it says, Jose Chile de Castro went live on Monday, March 20th, 2023, in order to continue fundraising efforts to find more people for Tennessee to clean out the hotel room once occupied by Jerry Payne and his family. In the brief live stream, DeCastro went through his contact list and mockingly berated his friend Jeff Condon. Seemingly d distracted from the serious issues of finding someone to help the family who has allegedly been destitute for some time in the hotel rooms in Tennessee. Disappointing many of his supporters, Jose Chile de Castro did not offer to go to Tennessee <clears throat> to help anyone. He made statements, however, that he doesn't know the family nor the charges that Jerry and Samantha Payne faced and that caused them to be extradited for immediate extraction, but claims that stealing the bike was one of the charges was not worth being incarcerated over. There are various unconfirmed reports the donors had paid for the Payne's room for more than the last weekend. However, later that night, viewers of the live stream from the Payne's former household or former room watched as someone apparently entered the hotel and pointed the live stream's camera down on the desk. The Castro later went live and railed against the license place used by Nevada State Police on their personal vehicles. The license plates allegedly feature a blue line strip and a badge, and De Castro surmised that anyone with a license plate would be immune from receiving tickets. He then switched his attention to the case of Baltimore police officer Zachary Rutherford, who shot and killed an anti-violence uh, activist Tyree Moorhead last November. 
when the officer and the trainee officer went to Moorhead and saw him standing over a woman brandishing a knife towards the face. Rutherford opened fire on the Moorhead after warning him to drop it and continued to fire until he was taken out. De Castro played parts of the original video in his live broadcast, and then played a second version of the video where he admitted to altering everything in order to make the case that the police had killed Moorhead. Associating it with De Castro's own treatment by police in his arrest and showing the faded bruises on his biceps that he suffered in the altercation, De Castro continued all of his assertions and mumbo jumbo that police were a negative force. In a strange twist, Jose Chile De Castro challenged a detractor from his side that to make his day to attack him. And therefore, he egged someone on to attack him. Isn't that interesting? Well, that's no surprise coming from uh, the law offices of Chile de Castro. Huh. No question there. Then he wondered aloud, if I wonder if I can hit a moving target that's running away, maybe I should. And he wanted to see if nothing anybody can do will intimidate me, so maybe I should do this instead. And anyone who faced him would have to contend with Smith and Wesson. Chat GPT, the AI program that DeCastro apparently uses to write all of his various legal briefs, was offline on Monday. There is no record of DeCastro filing his promised federal civil rights suit against the Las Vegas Metro Police and all others involved, nor did DeCastro mention it on either of his broadcasts Monday night. Oh, that's so disappointing. Wow, chilly. I'm disappointed you didn't actually do it, you know. I figured that a sovereign citizen such as yourself would most certainly take the citizen route, you know, and start doing things that typical citizens do. But of course, I can't expect that when we're talking about Chile de Castro. I can see that now. So, um, I put that as a mea culpa on me, folks. So anyway, what are your feelings and insights? What are your ideas and feedback on this interesting uh, update? I also noticed Gil Gilberto de Castro is going to be running into some very interesting legal issues fairly s soon that are uh, not going to be anything that he bargained for. And that seems to be directly related to uh, Jose Chile de Castro as well. It's fascinating. Any single action seems like no matter what you do, Chile, any single action you take just seems like you end up not getting out ahead, do you? You just could not ever win. That's quite a shame. Huh. Anyway, I had this to uh, really put up there because I found it quite fascinating. I found it another notorious week, and it certainly was the highlight for my week. So what do you guys think? And what are your insights and ideas around the timely arrest and incarceration of uh, Chile de Castro? Sound off in the comments below. We're always interested in hearing from your, you know, particular insights uh, first when anything like this occurs. Thank you again. More to come.